Here we have verse 18 of the fourth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus is just in the midst of his conversation with the woman at the well, asked her to go and get her husband, to which she has truthfully responded that she does not have a husband. And Jesus, of course, responds to that by saying, you spoke correctly, you spoke well, saying that you did not have a husband. And then continuing in verse 18, he proceeds to point out penta. This is, of course, the number for five. It's a, a word that comes over into the English language, of course, pentagram. Other words use that penta prefix, the Greek word five, four. Uh, the soft uh, conjunction here for five, andros, this is the uh, accusative plural of aner, which is uh, the word for man, and in this case means husbands. It's the accusative case, plural here, for five husbands. Escase, this is from echo, this is the uh, aorist. So you, second person singular, have had, or you had, five husbands, kai nun. This is the adverb. It means now, indeclinable. And uh, now, hon, this is the uh, accusative, masculine, singular, uh, relative pronoun. And now, the uh, ekes, second person singular, of echo, same as this word, the word, uh, but now in the present tense, and now he who you have, the relative pronoun, the one whom you have, uk esten, uk esten is not, esten of course from a me, this is the third person singular, uh, su, on air, this one that you have now, of you, on air, is not, so it is not su, on air. The uh, su would normally come after the word on air, but to add a bit of emphasis to it, Jesus, uh, in the way that John expresses it here, puts the uh, pronoun before, the possessive pronoun in front of the word on air. So he is not your husband, uh, emphasizing slightly that word your. So then Jesus concludes to toe. This is the demonstrative pronoun, this, uh, all a face, truly adverb, you've spoken truly, and then we have ereikos, this is the third person, or second person singular of ereo, which means to say, it's the aorist, so in this you have spoken or you spoke correctly. So Jesus uh, commends her, of course, for being truthful about saying that she doesn't have five husbands, but at the same time, there's a little bit of bite in this comment, because of course he points out to her based on his supernatural insight, presumably, at least that's the way John wants us to take it, that uh, he knows she has had five husbands and now she's simply living with a man, which would be contrary, of course, to Jewish law and generally would be viewed as a less than uh, appropriate way to uh, live one's life. And so Jesus is kind of open to wound here a little bit, but of course access to that living water presupposes that there's been a moment in which one faces the music, faces the need, the brokenness of one's own life. And that, of course, is what Jesus is gently accomplishing in this conversation.